Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be working with a collection from Simple Stories called Simple Vintage North Pole. I'm also going to be adding on the coordinating cardstock, the die cuts, layered stickers, and the banner stickers. So the banner stickers are 12 by 12 and I'm going to pretty much use up all of them. The, all the vintage collections from Simple Stories seem to have those and it is amazing. Like I find it so easy and fast. The 12 by 12 collection kit includes 12 patterned papers along with one 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Okay, to start off here, we have our six sheets of cardstock. I've already broken it down into the four that I've wanted. Um, I went ahead with this black, or sorry, gray, I guess, um, with the green backside as my cardstock choice that has that I have two sheets of. And then I went with this icy blue and then that red color. So you need three different colors of cardstock. Um, two of those colors, you only need one sheet of, okay? Um, here, just as far as my paper selections go, I'm going to need four background pages and two accent papers. So I'm just going ahead and taking out my journaling cards. I really don't think I'm going to be utilizing much for them. Um, but sometimes it's nice to pull them out anyways and just in case you need to fill an area on the page or create a journaling area later, um, later on. So I went ahead and put aside what I thought I needed and now I'm picking my papers for this collection. So I really love this black striped paper. Um, I really didn't want to incorporate a lot of red mixed with green. I, I don't really like that combination as much and I don't usually pick Christmas collections that are very traditional like that. So I wanted to keep things maybe a little bit more neutral and have splashes of those colors, not really them dominating. So um, those two accent papers, I went with that striped paper and then the, the vintage paper. Uh, though it has newsprint on it and some winter floral kind of images on it. So here I'm picking really subtle backgrounds. Um, I don't want anything that's like a really dark kind of color. I thought this, um, so I kind of went um, with backgrounds that were more of that icy blue kind of color so that I could put like a darker green on them or a red and it, it would stand out a little bit. So I had a little bit of trouble picking my background pages um, just because there was actually quite a few that could have worked. So I ended up going with um, the some of this, these Santa papers here as you can see on the left hand side and then also the, the, the um, this candy cane one and then I was really pondering which one of these two I wanted. They both sort of have a Santa on the left hand side of the page. Um, I ended up going with the Santa on the left, this one, just because if I wanted to I could use the back side if I changed my mind about it a little bit later on.
So I always feel like a cheater when it comes to making things, making layouts with the simple stories of uh, vintage collections, just because I always add on to my order these banner stickers, which is like that 12 by 12 sticker sheet that has um, like those banners on it. And it's almost like clusters that are made for you. So it's like, I feel like it's cheating in a way. Like it's so easy. I feel like you could almost utilize just that and make your pages look good. Um, something I definitely like to do with that banner sticker sheet is cut the banners into smaller pieces. And sometimes you can definitely tell where you cut. So I like to just hide where I cut those banners with um, other embellishments that sort of cover where the cut area is and, and it all sort of seems to blend in together nicely. I really love the, all these red circles that say Hello Santa or Merry Christmas or other various things. I find them really easy to work with and fill an area kind of around your photo areas <clears throat> and then um, basically just cluster around some of those bigger sections. And try and create you know two or two to four areas on the page where you're going to kind of create clusters so um i found that it was super fast and super easy to decorate these pages um the only kind of techniques i ever really utilized were just pop-up squares so like foam squares i never i didn't have any brads this time or anything like that i just either directly adhered things to the pages or used pop-ups so here I decided to cut this one banner piece in half. It was just too long to be able to use it on this page. And so there's kind of an awkward cut line in that banner that says believe in the magic. And you can also tell that the area on the left side of this green frame was kind of cut as well. So um, I'm just going to try and utilize some other die cut pieces to make it blend in better. Um, on the page. So I wanted to use this green this uh, green framed area along the bottom and then this Santa at the top. So I'm going to add on this die cut banner that has like that icy blue kind of color to it but it still has that similar like stripe along the top of that red banner that says believe in the magic so it's kind of it kind of just looks like an extension of that banner there and then i put the dear santa envelope right behind the whole element just to kind of help um give it a little bit more uh, layering of a uh, more of a layering effect and some more depth to it so this um below on the bottom of this four by six photo i went ahead and put that other um banner piece and I popped it up with foam squares and I left the frame empty for now. Um, I might fill it in with a little bit of a journaling area um, when I go put my picture on or I might if depending if I have any photos um, that I can cut down that much I might fill in that area with a photo as well. So Christmas is going to look a lot different where I live this year. Our government just announced a few days ago that they are um, banning all indoor and outdoor gatherings until January 5th. So if you're not living in the same household as anybody, you are not allowed to see them. Uh, I think this will be the first time in my life that I have ever uh, I had Christmas without my parents, without my siblings, without cousins and aunties. Um, it's going to be different, that's for sure. I'm not going to lie, I was kind of emotional about it when they first announced it. still kind of am, I guess. Um, I understand why they did it, but um, it's definitely gonna be hard it's gonna be hard for some people for sure I mean I'm I'm super grateful that I have my kiddos that all live in the same house um, as me and Christmas morning I still get to see them and you know but there's a lot of people that you know their extended family or people that don't live with them 
you know, that's, that's all they have for, um, for people to interact with. And I just couldn't imagine what a Christmas like that would look like. Um, but I, I am understanding. I mean, I do think that we need to get this whole COVID thing under control. And I understand that, you know, the hospitals need us to do this so that they can operate effectively and, um, you know, that they can do things to the best of their ability. So, um, I'm just trying to, I'm trying my best to come from a place of understanding and, and accept it. Um, but it's definitely going to be different. And I think, you know, if anything, it's just going to make me more grateful for, for what we take for granted, um, every other year that we get to spend with family. So, um, for this, uh, layout here, I did swap out those two three by three photo areas for this 2.5 by 5.25 photo area. I needed kind of a taller vertical uh, photo area and I flanked that with a couple die cuts of Santa Claus and then at the top here I'm putting this um, very dainty little uh, red banner. Um, I pop that up and I'm going to layer a few more die cuts behind it just to create some um, layering and then um, at the bottom of this 4x4 photo area I decided to have that um, smaller banner area and layer some more pieces onto there as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching uh, the video this week. We will see you in the new year and hopefully um, things have improved by then and um, I will announce the winner of last week's giveaway on the community tab on my YouTube channel and I will also write, I'll also reply in as a comment on that person who's won as well from last week's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing holiday, um, holiday break. Have a great new year. Have a great Christmas and um, we will talk soon.